Engineer 775 with power, Pond Power Part 3. And we have, we're doing a lot in the back of the Volkswagen these days. Uh, so we got a 48 volt battery bank. This is kind of our portable lab here on the farm. And we got a 48 volt charge controller and a AC to DC rectifier. We will see what our open circuit voltages are here. We are running about 56 to 57, so I truly believe we can charge this battery bank. We'll check some amperages and voltages here shortly. And then our diversion load is a bank of uh, 1,200 watts of light bulbs. So when that charge controller senses that the batteries are full, um, it will divert the load over to the, the light, light bar and then back and forth. This charge controller does that kind of sawtooth on and off charging based on the uh, condition of the batteries and so we're hoping to be able to charge the 48 volt battery bank on 57 volts uh, typically you'd want a higher voltage but that's as high as i can get with the stator that is on the uh, hydro setup what i'm going to do later is change that stator out to another much higher voltage stator and that's when that divert load is really going to come into play. So we'll see what happens here with this stator. If I can charge 48 volts with this stator, I'll be pretty happy. All right, let's see if we can fire up. Okay, we're going to start up our system, which means putting, dunking the 8-inch pipe in the pond. And then the turbine starts spinning. And then we have our vacuum gauge to tell me if I'm fully developed or not. So we're having fun here. Let's see if we can get, excuse me on the video. Let's see if we can get up here. Okay, we're running about five amps going into the battery bank at 50, 53 volts and five amps. So it is charging. And the charge controller, we haven't seen a divert yet, and it's still charging. So what we're hoping to see here, once the battery bank is full, and once this thing clicks, it'll kick over to the diversion load. Still running at 5 amps. I think we're fully developed, we're getting good water flow. Okay, I just need to know if you keep your... Keep an eye on just make sure when that charge controller clicks. I get a shot of this. Alright. Sounding pretty good. Spinning nicely. Fairly quiet. And we got a good brush of water out of here. I think she's behaving nicely. Okay. So we're using a 48 volt system here. Charge controller with divert load. We're just waiting for it to divert over to the light bar. And I haven't seen it divert yet. So we're still putting uh, five times 50, what's our voltage? 54 volts. So 200 and whatever, 260 watts. Not a lot of power. I just don't think my voltage is high enough. So we're trying this, we're kind of at a place where the voltage isn't high enough, in my opinion, to push power into this battery bank. But that amperage as the battery bank charges should be dropping. It is. We start a little over five and we're going down. Oh, pumped up to five there once. Ooh, 5.2. So hopefully, I'll be back. All right, our diversion load, we've charged our battery bank. You hear the charge controller clicking. The voltage is finally high enough. The stator's a little too low, but this is what it's supposed to do. So the hydro turbine can keep spinning, and we're still putting power into the battery. And so this is uh, just turning the controller. Is The controller is turning on and off. And now we're just kind of trickle charging or 
um, tapering off. You can see the little red divert light on the flex charge clicking. So working like it's supposed to. This is fun. It's my first diversion load project using hydroelectric because most of the time I'm messing with solar and I don't need a divert load. So we just using some light bulbs. Battery bank is full, but the power's got to go somewhere. And so we're just throwing it over to the light bulbs. You could do this with DC water elements. You could do it with uh, mo uh, inverters and motors and things. But this was the simplest way to do some testing. All right. Working great. Now we're going to try a different stator on our hydro setup and see what kind of uh, performance we can get out of that. Okay, we're going to switch out the uh, low voltage stator and replace it with a high voltage stator. The high voltage stator is the windings of a little smaller wire gauge than this one. Okay, now let's put the other one on. Okay, the stator on the right, you can see the much thicker wire gauge than the higher voltage stator that we're going to put on here on the left. Okay, this one also has uh, another set of wires for sensing when we use the grid tie inverter so um, but we don't really need those for our battery charging all right we've got our micro turbine going at 270 volts ac and we switch over to dc and we're running 370 volts 370 volts off of <laughs> our pond and our contraption. All right, so interesting. Now we're gonna see if we can not blow up our diversion load control. We're gonna charge these batteries. I don't know if this is a wise move, but we're having fun nonetheless. So, all right, the moment of truth. This is a new thing we've, um, we're gonna, we have a crazy amount of voltage. Um, so we're gonna use a diversion load controller. We're gonna start up our turbine again. We are hooked up, and we're about to start going here. The turbine's spinning, and the charge control can only take 140 volts. So loaded to the battery, it can't get over 140, so we should be safe. So it should be. Um, we got everything fused, so hopefully we'll blow fuses before I blow light bulbs and we have our diversion controller set to uh, like 55.2 volts before the peak so it is taking longer to develop because it's got a load on it 